I just like that opening scene, that's why I made it with thumbnails. Okay. I also really love Gengar. Gengar is sick, but you can't- Ooh, Moonstone! I could use this Moonstone to evolve Nidoran uh, Nidorino into Nidoking right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to later. But G yeah, Gengar is sick, but I can't get him because the only way you can get a Gengar is if you <coughs> trade a Haunter. And it turns into a Gengar. So there's no way to get... Like, you can get Haunter in this game, but that's it. And Haunter is honestly pretty good. It's just like a slightly worse version of a Gengar. But it has all the same moves. <clears throat> right? So... Well, I mean, I don't know that. Most of the same moves. The gist. He, ha he has ghost moves, you know. Um, I might get a Haunter. I don't know, I think it's going to be pretty crowded here soon. <coughs> now we're in the caves, it's Paris. Paris is kind of shitty, I think. Most bug Pokemon are shitty. And it evolves into Paris Sect, I think. You can only get those in the Safari Zone. Or if you evolve a Paris. Uh, oh! I can't wait for the Safari Zone, it's going to be cool. Someone needs to make... I don't think it's possible yet, but it it could be... It's probably be possible in the future. Someone needs to make some kind of mod for old games like this where you can just zoom the camera out a lot. So you can just see more of... Because it's, it's so close. By, like, today's standards. I guess that's kind of like cheating, like messing with the design, because they designed it where you wouldn't see certain things, so that would kind of be a surprise, I guess. So if you zoom the camera out, you, that might spoil some of that. But I don't know. I think it'd be cool. What else is new? Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Gaming- oh, Red Dead 2! Um, <clears throat> it's just getting 10 out of 10s left and right, and, uh, I want it. The, uh, even the fucking Super Best Friends play we're talking really highly of, or at least Pat was. He was just saying how cool it was, how much, how realistic it was. It's like a cowboy simulator, I think he's what he said. And there's just so much shit you have to worry about. And it's really slow and realistic, you have to eat and... I don't know, it just looks cool as fuck. And I want it, but not yet. Probably when it gets down to like 50 or 40. I'll probably get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it on console or... Well, it's not out on PC yet. Um, I'll probably just get it on PS4 if I get it, because... Number one, that's all it's out for right now. Number two, you know, my PC is not... My PC could run it, no problem, but, you know, not at 60 FPS all the time, you know. Like, maybe at medium, maybe, but, you know. I'd rather just get it on console. Most high-end games, that's what that's what I'd rather do. Because the console, everything's kind of the same. That Everything kind of runs the same. Um... So yeah, I just like to stay safe like that. But for anything like not super high end, I'll get it for PC. For anything multiplayer, I'll get it for PC. Like Overwatch, you know. Overwatch just belongs on PC. And like Fallout 76. I Fallout 76 is, like, not... Like, I have... I can run that thing at 60, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's just Fallout 4, right? It's just Fallout 4 assets and engine, you know, just multiplayer. That's basically what it is, and a new map. So I don't think I need to get that on console. I think I'll be fine running it on PC. So I've got a 1060, uh, 3GB, i7... 
6700 from like 2015 or 2016 something like that um and 16 gigs of ram i mean i can run i could run red dead 2 no problem it just wouldn't i just don't know how well it would be it might be like between 30 and 60 fps all the time i don't, I don't know if i really want to even bother with that if i'm gonna get a pc game i want it to be higher than 60 all the time What I mean, I could be dead wrong. I don't know. I feel like I'd even have problems with something like Witcher 3. Because you always want to overcompensate so that something stays at peak, like, something stays at peak performance all the time, you need to overcompensate. Like, yeah, it'll run alright with this, but you really want to be ahead of the required specs. That's my opinion, at least. <laughs> this runs good. <laughs> this game from 2004. I'm just breezing through this and not even talking about what's happening. This is Team Rocket, for anyone who doesn't know. If anyone's been un living under a rock the past 15 years. Almost 20 years, really. More than that. Should have started in the late 90s. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Okay, Zubat, that's that's all you, Mankey. You've got that rock tomb, if I'm not out of them yet. Movies. Movies. I just saw, well, I saw Venom a while back. I saw it for the second time recently. And, uh, yeah, so the thing with Venom, the thing with all movies, pretty much, to me is like so you go on Rotten Tomatoes and this has been true for me like forever if the audience score is higher than the tomato rating then I will love the movie or like the movie that's how it's always been so Venom has a high audience score and a low tomato rating and I thought it was excellent I loved that movie I also loved Bohemian Rhapsody I just saw that yesterday that was amazing Really low tomato score, really high audience score. The audience score is 95, I believe. 85 or 95. And the tomato rating is like 60. So, yeah. And I loved it. So, and then likewise, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Really high tomato score, really low audience score. And I thought that movie was a heaping pile of shit. So, there you go. That's always been true for me. They're both yours. Uh, no, I want one. Oh, I forgot about these. These fossils give us uh, extra Pokemon. When you take them to the lab and have them, uh, have them, you know, extracted or whatever. Um. Oh God, I don't know which one I want. There's. So you can either get Omastar or Kabutops. I like Amistar a lot. I think I might get Amistar. He's just cool. But I'm probably not going to use them. Because by, like, by the time you get them... By the time you actually are able to get the fossil extracted and get the... The Pokemon. Then you have to... He's really underleveled compared to your team. He's like 5. And that would be bad, f like, now. <laughs> You don't get it till way later, but and then you have to level them up and evolve them. So I'm probably not even gonna use them, but I think Omastar just looks cool. So I'll probably get the Helix fossil. That's that's what he comes from. Voltorb. No. Nope. After I get out of this dungeon, we'll call her a day probably. This was a long dungeon. Some probably a good two episodes. Maybe more. Woo! Come on, boy. Now let's just keep her going. I'm disabled no more. Oh, you did peck. Okay. Oh, wow. This thing's kind of kind of high. Probably is 
that kind of high as well. Because, uh, look at those plumes of fog around him. He's probably high as a, high as a motherfucker. <clears throat> as the children say these days. <clears throat> I'm high on life and coke. Good coke. Good cock. Big tasty cock. Alright, learn a move. Poison sting. That's not particularly good, but we'll take it. A uh, leer. Cause fuck leer. Oh. Don't be greedy. Okay. All right, Sir Sir Miguel. Uh, yeah, I don't think we even need to heal. What's his face? Cause so there's the Helix fossil. No, there's the dome fossil. No, I'm gonna take the Helix fossil. Number one, cause it sounds cool, and number two, cause I'm a star. Is sick. I just think Alma Star looks cooler than than Cabu Tops. He's just got a cool, uh, he's got tentacles and shit, and a shell. Twoidops looks like a horseshoe crab with, with scythe claws, which is pretty cool. He looks like Riot from, <laughs> from Venom. That's what Kabutops looks like, with his scythe hands. Kind of like, kind of like a Caesar. Pokemon Caesar. Not Caesar. Not Johnny Cash. But Caesar. Uh, yeah. That wasn't very good. Oh, I think we're almost out. I think we go up this ladder and. And then we have to go through a few more halls and then that's it. Got some good XP in here, though. Hmm. <laughs> Do a little savey poop. Let's get that ball. Antidote. Okay. There we go. Oh, I knew it. Only one more haul. Let's see what we got here. Alright, Cerulean City just ahead. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day and stay nasty.